Looking at another example of a table for probability, um, here I'm giving you a table where the numbers in the table are actually going to be the proportions, um, or basically the probability. So I'm not giving you the individual number of dogs that fall into each of these categories, I'm giving you the proportion. So in a way they've already calculated the probability. So you still want to find the totals because they can be helpful, and basically solve the problems in a similar way as to what we did above. But because it's already giving us the percentages, or the probabilities if you want, we don't have to do it as an out of, we just need to figure out how many total, so the fraction part of it kind of goes away. And a really important thing here that I want to note is you have to convert it to decimal or fraction. If you try to do this maths using the percentages, if it gives it to you as a percentage, you're going to be in big trouble. So remember, if you've got something like 75% divided by 100, you'll get 0 0.75. And so you want to use the decimal, not the percentage, if you're using these for calculations. So let's take a look. We've got males and females, and we've got colors, black, brown, or other. And we've been given, again, the probabilities here. So. If I think about the total number of black dogs, or the total proportion of black dogs in this um, group at the beach would be 0 0.2 plus 0 0.15, so 0 0.35. Um, brown would be 0 0.1 and 1 eighth. Well, that's kind of stupid to give it to me as a fraction, but the reason I'm doing that is because I want you to remember, if you've got a fraction here, we can convert that to decimal. 1 divided by 8 is 0 0.125 and 0 0.1 will give you a total of 0 0.225. And coming down along the bottom, 3 eighths, again, is a decimal, convert it to 0 0.375. And 0 0.375 plus 0 0.05 will give you 0 0.425. So we're getting our totals there. Adding down to figure out the total proportion of females. So again, it's not the total number of female dogs, but the total proportion, or the group of them. Um, so 0 0.2 and 0 0.1 is 0 0.3, adding it to 0 0.375 is 0 0.675, and then adding down along this way, we should get 0 0.325. And if we add up our totals, you'll get a total of 1. Which makes sense, because that means out of 100%, or like the total proportion out of everybody. So if you have everybody in there, it should add up to 1 if it's a proportion. So to find the probabilities with these, we literally just need to identify which parts of the table go with what you were asking here. So black or brown, female. So I need to know black or brown female. Well, 0 0.2 of them are black females, and 0 0.1 of them are black females. So the proportion out of the whole group on the beach would be 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1, so 0 0.3. So I have a 30% chance, or a 0 0.3 probability, of getting a female, black, or brown dog off the beach. If I picked any other color, so what's the probability of getting an other colored dog? Well, what's my total others? My total others is the 0 0.375 and the 0 0.05. So the total amount of other colored dogs, the total proportion here of other colored dogs, is 0 0.425 because I've added those two together, basically, which I'd already done in the column, so 0 0.375 plus 0 0.05. Okay, next problem. What's the probability that it will not be a black male? Okay, so what's the probability it's not going to be a black male? One way to think about this is, um, let's calculate the probability that it is a black male. So, to not be a black male means everybody but the black males. So everybody but the black male dogs here. So that includes um, our females of all sorts and all the other males. So those are the not the black male dogs. So one way that you could do that is you could add up 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.375, etc. Add them all up. But a shortcut here is that, well, that's everybody but one group. So out of the one total that we have, Let's just take away the female, oh, sorry, the male black dogs there. So 1 minus 0 0.15 is going to give you 0 
So the probability that you get a dog that is not a black male is going to be 0 0.85 because I've got a 0 0.15 chance of getting a black male dog. And again, um, on question number four, I'm going to go ahead and skip that and come back to it in the next video when I go over the conditional probabilities. Um, and just to throw this one in here, again, if, if it's difficult to see what I've done there on this one, you could go ahead and do 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.375 plus 0 0.125 plus 0 0.05, and you'll get 0 0.85. So it's just a short tra short short um, cut to try to figure out um, by subtracting off just one number instead of adding five numbers together. Okay, so remember when it is a proportion or a probability in the table you're not going to be making a dividing or fraction here to get your probabilities because they're basically given to you already. You just need to calculate out the totals that you need. Um, and that should work.